Yo, what is going on? This is That Guy Face with Face the Music Media. We are back again with another episode of How I Sin. In this video, we got Moog's brand new synthesizer, Mariana. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah. So, Moog's Mariana is a brand new bass synthesizer. It's a duophonic dual layer synthesizer made for making bass sounds. And so I'm really excited about this synthesizer. I love Moog synthesizers, you know, but before we get into that, if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications so you can be notified every time we drop a new video and go ahead and hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Also, make sure you go to Real loops.com that's r-e-e-l-l-o-o-p-s and grab the sweet fusion preset packs volume one and two they still on sale right now so you definitely want to take advantage of that bundle we got tons of crazy sounds for most of the cherry audio synthesizers so you definitely want to check that out real loops.com also make sure you go down in the description click on the music by that guy face playlist check out the singles we got three so far we got more coming too so you definitely want to stay tuned for that anyway let's just take a look we got the brand new Moog Mariana. Basically, Mariana is a dual layer synthesizer allowing you to mix together two completely different synthesizer sounds that can dynamically complement each other or be played duophonically. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So we got the plug-in here, and I really like the interface of this plug-in. It's really similar to the Moog Fogers, and so I love the way they design these to kind of match. And then it's dope how with this synthesizer you can go into the cv just like with the moger fogers and you can route out different cv to the moger fogers even in between different mariana plug-in instances and then if you want you could do cv out to the same instance of mariana as well and so it's just really really deep how you could program the synth and it's crazy so for the sake of time i'm not gonna cover everything because it would take me way too long so we'll just keep it simple if you see in my other videos you already know i love to do the isolator detune sound so they set it up to where you can actually control that manually first let's listen to the natural detune and then we'll do the phase functionality here so let's take a listen to that really quick let's put that on saw wave really quick now let's slightly detune that Beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a listen to the phase function here and uh, see if we can tell the difference. Go ahead, take that back. Beautiful. I love that sound. Let's go ahead and take a listen to some of the other wave shapes here. So we have a square wave. We have a shark tooth wave. Triangle wave. And then we have a sine wave. Beautiful. I mean, the isolators sound really good. I love it. Okay, so we have this duty cycle function here. So basically with the duty cycle, you could use it for pulse with modulation. And so let's take a listen to that. And you can still do that same thing with all of these wave shapes here. So let's just go ahead and take a listen. Shark 2. Mm -hmm. 
triangle. Beautiful. And finally, sine wave. I love that. Okay. Usually I do a chord progression, but well, since this is a duophonic synth, what I'm going to do is create like a drone type of atmospheric sound. And so it'll sound like a pad, but it's just going to be the two oscillators tuned to different frequencies. So let's go ahead and take a listen to that. We'll leave oscillator two where it is, and then we'll change oscillator one here. So I have a little melody that I play in the back. Let's go ahead and take a listen. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and add in the sub oscillator here. So we have sine wave, the ramp down and square. I'm going to put that on square. Let's go ahead and take a listen. I'm loving that already. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to bring a little bit of noise in. If we go towards the red side, it's going to be darker. Towards purple, it's going to be lighter. Let's go, let's set it to pink. Beautiful. So I want to go ahead and spread those voices out so we can hear them more distinctly. So let's go ahead and take a listen to that. Beautiful. What I want to do to create some variety in the sound is I want to have the duty cycle kind of bounce around. So I'm going to right click on that. Let's go over here to random. So the way the synth is set up, the LFOs do not have a sample and hold. The random function here would be the sample and hold. So I'm going to set it to random. Let's go to enable. Come over here to control panel one. Random. We'll sync that to the tempo and it's already set to sample and hold. And we'll slow that down because I want it to go kind of slow. I don't want it to go too crazy. And slew will make it smooth out so it doesn't just jump around. Let's go ahead and take a listen to that. I'm loving that. So let's go ahead and mess with the filter and see what that sounds like. Beautiful. So I'm going to add some filter envelope here. So let's go ahead and come over here to control one filter envelope. I'm going to bring up the decay, reduce the sustain, bring up the release a little bit. I'm going to bring up the decay on the amp envelope, bring the sustain down just a little bit, bring the release up on that as well. Let's go ahead and take a listen.
beautiful. That sounds fire. I'm going to come over here to the output section. And what we can do is add saturation. Let's go over to tape and let's slowly introduce that and see what it sounds like. I love that. Now on this synthesizer, you have two effects. You have the delay and you have the chorus and you can only use the delay on synth one and you can only use the chorus on synth two. Why they set it up like that? I don't know, but hey, it is what it is. I'm going to copy synth one to synth two, listen to the delay, and then I'm going to solo synth two and listen to the chorus and see what it sounds like with each one. So let's go ahead and do that. Copy synth one to synth two. Let's mute synth two and listen to the delay. Beautiful. All right, now let's go ahead and mute synth one and listen to synth two with the chorus. Beautiful. <laughs> I love that. I have this reverb. It's just a stock Ableton reverb. I'm going to put that on there so you can hear that ambient drone sound. I'm going to fool around with synth one and synth two. I'm going to go back and forth to hear what it sounds like with the delay and then hear what it sounds like with the chorus. So let's go ahead and mute synth two for now. I got my reverb turned up. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and go back over here to synth one. Let's take a listen.
Let's listen to Sin 2 with the chorus. Let's do it. beautiful <laughs> i love that anyway man that's the end of this video you guys let me know what you think about moog's new bass synthesizer mariana down in the comments below my thoughts on it i love the synthesizer it sounds amazing it's very rich very thick it's got that moog sound i can't even lie you know the filters are crazy you know and i haven't even scratched the surface of what you could do with this plug-in like you know i didn't even go into the cv because i couldn't get the cv to work with the moger Foger. so you're supposed to be able to go into the moger Fogers and route out the cv from the lfos and the moger Fogers and the different controls i couldn't get that to work so I don't know if that's like a little bug. Maybe I need to reinstall, but I couldn't get it to work. So it is what it is. Either way, it's definitely worth it. The intro sale is going on right now. And so I would definitely take a look at that. This plugin sounds crazy. But anyway, like I said, you guys let me know what your thoughts are. But anyway, man, this is that guy face face to music media. If you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Also, make sure you go to realloops.com. That's R-E-E-L-L-O-O-P-S and cop the Sweet Fusion presets, volume one and volume two. The bundle is still going on right now. And so you definitely want to take advantage of that, realloops.com. Also, make sure you go ahead and click on the Music By That Guy Face playlist. Check out the singles. We've got more singles coming, so you want to stay in tune with that as well but anyway man this is that guy face face the music media we out of here Peace.